Uh, why? Hey everybody. For anybody new here, I make casual reviews, but I just my opinion. So take everything I say with a massive grain of salt. I'm gonna be reviewing the new trippy red deluxe album. Woo! Neon Shark um, versus Pegasus. Why? Great question. Um, first off, a bit of background like I do with all of my reviews. Trippy Red. Uh, hi, Daddy. How you doing? Trippy Red. I, kind of well known at this point. Doesn't need much of an introduction. Has dabbled in a bunch of different hip hop subgenres, but really emo hip hop, emo emo rap. One that he's quite heavy in, but sort of just SoundCloud in general. You name it. Um, well, he released the deluxe edition of his album that came out a few months ago, I think, Pegasus. An album that I thought was disappointing. It was like a 3 out of 10 for me, one of his worst releases, and yet here he is, just a few months later, releasing the deluxe edition, which hops on the bandwagon of a trend that is so annoying. Uh, any artist now, do you have a do you have a following? If you do, then you are eligible for this trend. Release a deluxe edition of an album you put out like a few months ago with a whole other album attached to it, so therefore it charts better. It's essentially a new album, so that's why I'm reviewing it. Uh, Neon Shark, I guess, is this new one. Uh, musically, Trippy Red decided to hop on the bandwagon of ditching his hip hop sound with. In replace for making a pop-punk album. And a horrible one at that. Instead of moving the emo rap genre in the right direction, or even trying to improve upon the sound that he has built for himself, you know, like like Nothing Nowhere has on their recent album, you know, Trippy Red decided to ditch anything that made his music remotely good in the first place, which was not much. But instead, he decided to get rid of all that, to just revive and just rehash old pop-punk cliches and styles that have been dead for over a decade. Have he not learned the lesson from Machine Gun Kelly's absolutely horrific and just, you know, god damn, that album was so bad, tickets to my downfall. And uh, not only did he just rehash these ideas and sounds, he did it in a way in which it doesn't even sound unique to Trippy Red at all. It's, it's just... There's nothing about Neon Shark that is remotely unique. Lyrically, it is about as cliche and forgettable as imaginable. And his auto-crooning and his lack of substance gets so tiring after about one minute into this release. Instrumentally, I get it. The music isn't horrible. It sounds like your standard pop-punk album. But it is pointless, unnecessary, and once again is bringing back some of pop-punk's worst moments, worst cliches, for no rhyme or reason. There is no rhyme or reason to any of this. I don't despise the instrumentation. I don't despise Travis Barker's drumming. Whatever, he's fine. But it is, but just, this is the prime reason why this genre is dead. We don't need some of, you know, emo rap's biggest artists to ditch anything that made them even remotely interesting to just play the style of pop punk that has been beaten down to the ground for over 20 years now. There is no rhyme or reason for any of this. Overall, I just feel like this is a pointless release. This is a pointless album that is just, that only continues to bring back the worst parts of pop punk the worst elements of Trippy Red sound, and with little memorable, there's nothing that memorable about any of these songs, and it's just it's some of the most lifeless vocal performances from Trippy Red, some of the most uninspired and boring lyrics from Trippy Red, which once again isn't saying much, and just these instrumentals, take it or leave it, they're it's it's just there. I just feel like there is... I'm, I'm so sick of this trend. I am so sick of this trend of artists feeling like now, for some reason, now that it's the 2020s, it's time to get all nostalgic and bring back pop punk. I'm sorry. Pop punk did have its good bands. It did. In the 90s, pop punk was excellent. And you also had skate punk. You had all that stuff as well, which was at the top of its game. Classic Green Day, The Offspring, Bad Religion, Social Distortion, Rancid, all those bands were great.
And then in the 2000s, things got a little wishy-washy. Well, you still had good bands like Jimmy Eat World, My Chemical Romance to some degree, uh, really continuing to push the genre in new directions. You also had a slew of just bands that are not that good, like Blink-182, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, bands that I am glad are irrelevant. And yet here we are in the tw 2020s now with artists like Trippy Red, Machine Gun Kelly, bringing back these... The, the the worst eras, the worst parts of pop punk, plastering it on to a deluxe edition of an album that was already bad to begin with, just so they can have an excuse to put it on top of the billboard. It is pathetic, it is lame, it is trash, it is horrible, it is absolutely one of the worst things I have heard. I am settled on giving Neon Shark vs. Pegasus a plasta 1 out of 10. Which means that it is one of the most negative reviews I have ever given on this channel. Anything above a 5 is good. Anything below a 5 is negative. And a 1 is absolutely abysmal. First off, if he followed up Pegasus with another Pegasus, I probably still wouldn't have liked it. And yet he managed to make it even worse by once again bringing back the worst parts of pop punk. Why? Why?